Happy Friday, everybody. It's Good Friday. I hope you're enjoying the day and are ready for Linda and I to bring you some new exciting um, oil tips. And today we're talking about something that um, gets a lot of blame in our lives. And we're gonna share some oils that can help you with uh, not blaming this in your life as much. So we're waiting for Linda to jump on here and I know she will any second now. Um, in the meantime, right now people are enjoying our adaptive, uh, seven day adaptive experience. I think it might have ended by now, but if you um, participated in that, I hope you guys learned some um, new ways to incorporate adaptive into your daily life. I, I like to keep it right at my desk to um, help me throughout the day if I ever feel any stress or anything coming on. It just helps me to stay focused and um, calm and get the day done. So I hope you all enjoyed that experience. We have a new one coming up and that's what we're actually gonna be talking about today. So um, we'll wait here as, as Linda gets ready to jump on here with us. I don't see her here yet, but any second. So um, I, I I guess I'll ask you guys so you can think about this while we're waiting for Linda, but um, do you ever feel yourself changing throughout the month and just you have days where you're in a bad mood or you feel a little more angry or tired than other times and have you ever wondered if that has anything to do with your hormones? Yes, hormones. That's what we're talking about today. Those little culprits that get blamed for all of those things, our mood changes, um, whether that's a bad mood or an aggressive mood, um, or even you might be having a, a sad day, that could also be um, a culprit of our um, hormones as well. So, um, our experience that we have coming up in um, it will start May 9th and it'll run through May 22nd and it's another 14, I believe that's 14 days, I might be wrong, but I think so. And we're gonna walk through a whole bunch of different oils and even supplements that doTERRA has that will help you to make those hormones happy. So if um, that is uh, something that you are challenged with in your life, trying to figure out how to balance your hormones, then this might just be um, experience that you want to join along in. And um, we do have some products in our doTERRA line that are specifically made for women and help with um, those hormonal changes. So when you sign up for the challenge, so it'll list all of those and which ones um, will be used throughout that um, experience. So you might need to order those and you might already have those in um, your doTERRA supply. So um, I think I might see Linda on here. Let's let's sick and see if it's her. Yep. Coming. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. I am here. <laughs> <laughs> well, all... so am I. So I, I kicked it off by telling everybody that we have that happy hormone challenge or experience coming up in um, May. I hope I said May. I might have said April, but it's May. May right. 9th through the 22nd. Mm -hmm. And I um, I think it it's one that may reach a lot of people, might be needing to find different ways to help regulate their hormones so they're not hearing things from friends or family like oh what's going on with you this month what what's happening this week why are you, why are you in such a bad mood so instead of blaming those hormones we're going to find ways to make those hormones happy and you happy <laughs> you know last year when they actually did this um happy hormones when that was I mean, I had attended all of the others and they were good, but then when this one came on, that one really started getting my interest. Um, mm -hmm. and, and I really started enjo enjoying the, the classes that, and the, you know, what was going on. So I, I would recommend that this is, a, if you haven't been on any of these 
um, classes that this would be a good place to start, really. Yeah. Oh, there is a lot of education on the oils to use and the supplements to use, but we also dive into what foods you can eat. Mm -hmm. We have different recipes that we share. Um, we talk about how important exercise is and even getting outside and getting some vitamin D, how that can really help um, <laughs> your body. <laughs> uh, I walked outside two miles today. It felt wonderful. Wow. <laughs> nice. It's amazing what it does for your outlook. Yes, for sure. That's so, so true. It always uplifts my mood too when I can get in um, some exercise each day, but just being outside and it being warm enough to not have a coat on and the sun shining on your face is just very nice. Um, another, another thing too that they talk about in that hormone, the happy hormones is toxins. That's a big thing too, where um, young people are really being overloaded with toxins in their body and how they're affecting their hormones. So we do dive into that a little bit too. And that could be toxins from your environment, cleaning products, your skincare products. Um, there's many different ways that we come in contact with um, toxins that can build up in our body and cause harm. So I found um, one oil that I, I use quite often that I think is a great one to share because it helps with hormone balancing. And what about you? Did you find something that you wanted to share about as well? Well, I did. Um, in fact, you, you know, I had to laugh when you put it on oil drift that um, that um, your hormones were different from the 20s now to your 40s. And, you know, <laughs> last week, my husband mentioned that, oh, you're about 20 years too late for me. <laughs> so it's very much different um, in your 70s. But, you know, I probably did not. Um, I think maybe I'm starting my seventh year as being a member um, of doTERRA and, and probably not right at first, but probably for me, um, at my age, um, one of the things that I've thought about with balancing hormones is the uh, lifelong vitality. I just, um, I don't think I can be without it at all. Um, it just really makes a difference in my body um, and the way it functions is, is the one. And, and then the other thing that I guess um, when you asked me to find one, I'm like, okay, did we find the same one? When, when I read through everything and I was reading all about hormones and I was like, okay, well, how do you know if you have a problem with hormones or how do you, you know, they operate in the brain and the glands and they're sending all these messages and well, you know, you know, 40 years ago, my husband would have said, um, cause I, I think I was, mm, I don't know. 46 when I actually had breast cancer and so then it threw me into things um, where I wasn't having a monthly cycle and before that they would have told you exactly when my hormones were um, <laughs> were out of balance you know and I don't really have that so much but um, I think other things at you know our age we don't think about their stress well um, that can have an impact on um, imbalancing hormones. And then the other thing I was thinking about is our sleep. And mm -hmm. if, you, if you don't sleep, it, yeah, it real, that's a hard thing. So, but whenever I, I read anything, um, the, there was one that kept coming up and, um, and that one was Clary Sage. Is that the one you chose? <laughs> nope. No? Okay. Well, <laughs> Clary Sage came up for most, I mean, many things in balancing hormones. And um, probably, I don't know, one of the classes, uh, the Monday night classes, uh, um, 
I don't know, maybe it was a month or so ago. Yeah, I think it was in March. They actually had a midwife on there, Stephanie Fritz, I believe. Mm -hmm. And I had, yeah. I had seen her book and read it and shared it with some young girls who were pregnant. And, um, and, and so I was really interested to see. Um, and so um, one of the things she talked about, um, and she was not just talking about pregnancy, but she talked about not being able to sleep and that Clary Sage, again, we're talking hormone stuff. Um, Clary Sage, if you put a drop under your tongue, she said it tastes awful, but it really works. Now, I don't have that much problem sleeping, but my sister does. And so, so she, that, she happened to be there that week that, um, and I said, okay, we've got to try this. We have got to try Clary Sage. And she put it under her tongue and that night and she slept wonderfully and she has been using it ever since. And so um, when you're talking about hormone balance and with Clary Sage, if you, you'll read in all the literature, that's one of, that's one of the number one mm -hmm. um, oils to use. Um, and so at my age, I need rest and, and that's where you'll find some of the hormone imbalance. But I even, you know that my daughter, um, who's near your age, uh, also yeah. experiences that, and I'm thinking, okay, hormones, Clary Sage. So that was the one that I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I don't know if there is a um, old wives' tale or a story out there. I'm sure there probably is if we if we uh, searched far enough, but. I, I feel like um, there's got to be some story about the first time a man maybe collected flowers and gave them to his wife or girlfriend and the effects oh, yes. on her when he gave those flowers to her. And then it started something like, oh, if I give flowers, she's happy. Right? So I think Clary so. Sage is a, Clary Sage is a flower. And okay. many of our other flower oils are wonderful for hormone balancing. Oh, that is I good went, to know. I, you know, like, oh, she was having a bad mood, so a, a bad day, so I went and picked her some flowers. Look how happy she got. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I chose Rose. Mm -hmm. I love Rose, and I I use it all the time. It's 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 almost like it's one of my cosmetics because it's on the bathroom counter and I use it on my face like it's part of my you know nighttime and daytime routine but you know but then I do also love to put it on my wrist and 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 smell that as well and lo and behold it is another amazing oil for helping with hormones so I wrote down a few things so I could um, make sure I remembered and gave you the good details but typically we think of rose and we think of a symbol of love and purity, but it's also excellent for um, calming your premenstrual um, tensions. It's also really good at regulating your menstrual cycle. It balances testosterone um, in the body, and um, it can also boost your libido. And you mentioned the serotonin. It regulates your serotonin. So the serotonin is that chemical that helps kind of stabilize your mood and helps you rest and sleep well. And it's also very um, calming and relaxing. And lastly, it balances your cortisol and supports your adrenal glands. So I, I think if you were to um, look at your collection of floral oils, like your lavender, so um, <laughs> your lavender, your rose, your clary sage, um, we've got jasmine, any of the ones that you know are floral and you're drawn to, I, I think that's probably your body's way of saying, hey, get that flower, that's the one we like, it makes us happy. So, mm -hmm. happy hormones come from beautiful flowers. 
And there sure are a lot of those beautiful flowers springing up at this time of year. <laughs> yes, there are. <laughs> I really do like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so that's just a little bit what you'll learn in the, um, the happy hormone experience that's coming up. So if that sounds like something you want to learn more about, I believe we were going to open registration this week, but we've pushed it to next week. So um, just look for that link to be posted or emailed out to you so that you can, you can sign up for that as well. But it sounds exciting, huh? Get lots it of does. people in there and, and learning it about does. these hormones. And it does. it's not just for women. There, there is some education in there mm -hmm. too for men and how to balance their, their hormones as well. Yeah. Looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, I hope um, if you watch this video before Easter, I hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend. If you're watching it afterwards, I hope it was a great weekend. <laughs> we'll see you again next week. All right.